नमस्ते आई एम अ कलरिस्ट कलरिंग इज माई हॉबी एंड आई यूजली डू अ लॉट ऑफ मंडालाज एंड जोमेट्रिक डिजाइंस आई थॉट फॉर अ चेंज लेट मी ट्राई समथिंग न्यू आई सॉ दिस बुक ऑन एमेजॉन एंड इट हैड सम गुड रिव्यूज सो आई थॉट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लोर दिस द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज कलर एट होम एंड इट हैज़ बीन इलस्ट्रेटेड बाई शेरी एंड जॉन पिटरसिक so let's go through it together and hope some of you would like it uh i'm not sure if you can see it clearly but it has some golden glaze on the cover and also the name is in golden color uh what attracted me basically uh to this one is the way this layout seems on the cover and some of the example pictures which were there on amazon and i thought i could have a lot of fun coloring them and uh, i will enjoy it so let's see so this is the cover page again here and maybe we can cover it color it ourselves to see how we like it and i like some of the detailing that they have done on the carpeting the cushion cover for example it's nice and i i think i will have some fun coloring those then we have the name plate page uh it's not very intricate but i think we can add uh, some of our own designs to this one or use some washi tape and it should look very nice i like the way this cloth is falling draped over the sete and i think it will be fun to color that this is the page with some information about the book there's a lot of write up about the introduction and it's quite a lot to read through uh but i do like the picture at the corner of these pages and again i like the detailing they have done on the cushions and the flowers uh i think that will be quite fun to uh color there's a small animal here uh looks like a pig maybe i'm not sure the idea behind that at the top of the page but it's a fun touch they have given further instructions on how we can color this uh again a lot for some people to read maybe but they are some good uh, suggestions and if we do find the patience to go through it i'm sure we'll learn a lot i like how these suitcases and bags have the detailing they look very nice and i can already think of some color ideas for this one then here let's get warmed up and here what they have tried to do is basically they are trying to uh teach us ways how and how we can come up with color combinations and it is also a page which we can color with the cushions and the flower vase and the plants uh what i found interesting was this one the exercise number 1 color wheel and then there's the colors which we have to fill in and then this will help us uh when we color the rest of the book so that we have our own color wheel which we can refer to when we want to make good color combinations for the rest of the book then there is the exercise number 2 and the color combos so it's basically teaching us step by step on how to choose colors how we can combine certain colors for the same design but different ways to look at things they have given some examples for us to practice and some guidelines then we come to exercise number 3 which is adding color and again there are some guidelines here on how we can do it and i i really love the 
detailing they have done on these baskets and the cushions the curtains in the background are quite nice and it's the same page two times where they are saying you can begin by filling the small objects and it's like you can try different combinations so you basically have the same picture two times and you can try two different combinations and see which ones you like better here we have the exercise number four putting it together and basically it's just some more tips with how we can do color combinations you can say that till this part it's more or less like a practice uh, pages test pages you can test the materials that you are using whether the uh, markers will bleed through or not whether your watercolor brushes work or not whether you want to use pencils you can test your mediums so i think this is good uh, in a way but there's a lot of uh, reading material in here and i'm not really sure how many people will have the patience to go through so many uh, instructions or guidelines uh, most people usually uh, when they would select a book like this uh, would have had sufficient uh, practice and might have their own ideas but nevertheless it's never too late to learn something new isn't it now we start with the real book okay and this one is like a center spread um, it's a whole living area and you can see a complete picture with a fireplace and all um, i'm trying to fit into the screen uh, the whole page but it's too big the book itself is also slightly more broader than most uh, coloring books uh, in the sense that it's a, a bit square uh, and larger square than usual so and if we then go for a center spread with this size it's it is very difficult for me to fit in what i can observe in this one is that the carpeting for example has a nice detailing on this the frame the fireplace the cushions i'm sure you will have a lot of fun coloring these with so many brilliant ideas and i am surely looking forward to this one here we have the picture which is on the cover basically if you remember this is the one right and i would like to see how i color it without being influenced by what was there on the cover page uh, but basically what i think is that when you look at this one and you see this uh, it does give me the idea that we can use some sort of uh, uh, tape or other materials other than just colors to fill in this so that it gives us that nice different texture maybe just an idea here is a sort of collection of different types of seats chairs and uh maybe we can have some fun with that i can see that only one of them seems to have some sort of a design others are more or less uh plain mm, but we can try to give some nice textures and shading to these kind of ones and maybe they will look very nice then again it's a center spread this is a dining area and i really love the wallpaper that's there on the walls behind and i think it will be quite a lot of fun what i also like is the scenery that is getting captured as you look out of the window and that will be a contrast uh, in terms of this being more uh, still life type of coloring whereas this would be more realistic type of coloring so let's see how it goes uh, by the way the pages are perforated so you can actually take them out of the book and color them if you want for me what i'm not liking about it till now is that these are back to back 
and if they are perforated i don't really see how me taking them out of the book is going to uh, help me because i will not really get the whole picture uh, in this case for example this two page spread is one picture and if i remove them out then i lose the continuity that is there in this one um, but the pictures in itself are very nice and of course it's up to us if we want to remove them out or not again a nice uh, collection of interior items we can say this is a nice wash stand uh, this wooden texturing would be fun to color i think so so would be the wicker baskets over here a plant so some shading we can try on this one again a center spread uh, this looks like another dining area and i love the way the detail is there on the carpets i also like the way they have put some pictures which we can color a small sofa corner this one is having a lot of photo frames and each one of them will have something different for us to color that's interesting do less with more focus i like the background pattern I, this is usually what i color uh, i love coloring geometric uh, patterns like this a lot more so probably i'll enjoy this one again a center spread i think there are too many center spreads in this one i'm not really uh, sure how long it will take to color one uh, given that it probably will need quite a bit of uh, shading to give it a nice authentic look um, but this is a kitchen counter as far as i can see and a breakfast uh, seating and you can sort of see a glance of the passage just outside this area interesting is this a fridge with magnets maybe I, i'm i'm not sure but i can surely see some appliances this is a nice study table i like the way they have captured the view outside the window that would be very interesting this is a laundry room i think the way these shirts are hanging here i think i will have a lot of fun trying to decide what colors to give them and see how i can make this fun again the wallpaper behind it's quite interesting again a study area from a different angle so to say actually this is also a center spread and uh, it's like a workstation and some sitting area combination i'm so sorry that i'm not able to fit this properly but the big book is really very huge and my camera is not able to capture the whole uh, scene i'm trying as best as possible i hope i'm not moving it around too much this here is a very interesting uh, sort of paneling i think so mm, i would have to think about how i would color that i'm not sure how i would like it to come out here there's a sort of a workstation for a person who loves maybe crafts i think so because i can see lots of pens pencils brushes and scissors some sort of a pattern design already made i like this page i i, I also like the way uh the detailing is there on the wallpaper it's simple but it will take a long time to color that i think so i also like the way the ribbons are there so each ribbon we can color differently give it patterns maybe a good experiment i should say then this page is a collection of cushions i like these ones 
I like designs like this generally. Again, a center spread, a fireplace and a sitting area. Uh, it is not that intricate, I would say. It's more simpler in terms of the carpet has uh, played. Um, but I can see that there is a lot of texturing which they have tried to put into the sofa. So when we color it, maybe it will look uh, a lot more shaded and it will show a lot of texture maybe. So this one has a collection of marks, coffee marks. Nice. This seems to be a breakfast counter. And then there's some food. So there's a little bit of uh, food and then there is uh, some animal. This one would be very interesting to color. The detailing again, I think they could have done a little more with these jars, but maybe we can do it ourselves when we fill it out. Oh my God, one more center spread. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to fit in it, but it's very difficult. Okay, so this is more or less like you can say a dining sort of area because it's a round table um, with a lot of chairs around it. So I'm expecting it, it is a dining table. And then I like the way there's a display counters behind and you can color these things. I also like the way this wooden table will look when it is colored. So here we also have a toilet <laughs> that is very interesting i've seen very few books which must be uh, having a toilet to color in uh, but actually not a bad idea i like the the feel that is there with this wash wash stand the old style uh, basin the mirror is very nice i like how they have kept this step over there maybe for a kid to climb on and then say yes to new adventures well i did and that's why i have this book it's something which i never would have ventured into you usually i like the way these flowers are uh, i hope i'm able to do justice to them when i color because this is usually not the type of things i color again a center spread this time it's a bedroom I like the mirror uh, on the wall behind. I have actually seen a real one like that in Ikea. Uh, so let's see if I can bring it back from memory and color. I like the way this chair has been designed. And I, I'm wondering if the lines are the pattern on a fabric or that is the design of the back of the chair. So. I have to think about this when I color how I'm going to use this and this is very interesting here we have a child's room I can see a crib and there's some toys this will be colorful and very pleasant to color I believe here just from some random samples, I think so. I cannot really see any conclusive uh, design out of this. This looks more like uh, interior decorators samplers. So a small bedroom design here and then, then some swaps of cloth and some textures for wallpaper and wood maybe. One more center spread. Uh, this is a wash area and then connecting it is a whole bathtub and shower. This is a huge bathroom. I don't know how many people are lucky in their real lives to have such a big bathroom that it is not fitting here. But this is very nice. I like this carpet. 
I would love to color that with some nice imaginary colors. Some fruits. This seems to be a small uh, bedroom with a study table. Interesting. Uh, I like how the bags are hanging from these pegs, which look like deer. Maybe? Is that a deer? Antelope? Not sure. And I like the paper pattern, wallpaper pattern here. It's interesting. Again, a center spread. Kitchen with a breakfast counter and a display counter behind. This seems to be just a small table, maybe an entrance way or something like that with a frame of butterflies and a plant. This would be interesting to color. Actually, I'm not sure this looks like a cow or a bull maybe. Or a deer. <laughs> not sure. And then a collection of butterflies. These would be very enjoyable to color. I can think of a lot of vibrant colors which can be used on these butterflies. This is a nice patio. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed they have not captured the outdoors a bit more in this one. Uh, I would have expected it to have a little more background, right? Since it's supposed to be outdoors. Uh, but I like this uh, seat here. It would be so relaxing to have something like that in real life. <laughs> and I'm thinking it would be interesting to color this glass table with the reflection of the floor coming through it. And some lemonade. I like this, like the way the detailing is there. So different kinds of plants, that would be fun. Again, a center spread, a room with a small table in it. This is nice, looks like a kid's room some toys around and a doll tea set okay so this one looks to be completely outdoors nice I'm a bit worried because I'm not very good with this kind of things to color I'm not very good at shading and natural or realistic coloring so this is a good challenge i don't know how it will turn out but let's see and then here again looks like just a sampler of panels doors and stuff This again is a center spread. It's a pet dog. I think it's a dog. Yes, it's a dog. So a pet dog sitting on a bed. And I love how they have put so many photo frames on the wall behind. It would be interesting to color each of them separately. All you need is love. Yeah, maybe. And this is a nice doll's house. And some toys in hampers. I love this wallpaper. Would be very interesting to color. Also these clothes. It would be nice. I like the toys that are there. It, 
it would be uh it would bring back some memories for me and i would like to uh remember my toys and how they looked and i'll try my best to replicate the colors on this one so again this is a center prayer and this is the outdoors you can see the patio the one which we saw earlier it's from a different angle it's the same setting as far as i can see and then there's a swing set over here and it's nice i like it it's very big but there's not many detailing over here so should be fairly easy but i'm not sure if i will be successful in giving it a realistic uh, finish i hope i can do it justice then here there's a collection of some light fittings i like this one i think i have seen a real one in this and it looks very beautiful like stained glass uh, i'll try my best to replicate it maybe i will look up on the internet for a colored picture and then use that as a guidance uh, to decide on the color combinations this would be very difficult to color because usually these kind of chandeliers are transparent and i'm not sure i'll be able to do do it justice but let's see i'll give it my best shot this is a very nice one with so many shoes and then accessories this would be a very colorful page to color i'll probably find it more interesting than most of the other pages i also like this geometric design on the carpet because that's really the type of things that i love to color this is also a center spread i'll try to show you half page at a time because together it is too big but it looks like a kids room where i think four kids are going to stay because there's bunker beds here and here with the stairs to go up and i can see there's a toy giraffe there and then there's their toys and books a toolbox and some miscellaneous items this is a nice rug a backpack i think i see this is a map some sort of a map <laughs> looks like a world map but very badly drawn i should say this is very similar to uh, something i had seen in a book called fantastic collections I think they had a page with a collection of shells and uh, conches, and this looks very similar to that. Mm, again, I am very bad at realistic coloring, so this book is going to be a big challenge for me. Some of the aspects of this book is yes, uh, what I would like, but some is going to prove very difficult for me. This is like a bar, I think so. looks more like a temporary bar looks like it is a trolley where it's having some drinks and some classes home sweet home yes it was a nice home if it's a single home it's a very big home i should say they had a lot of rooms and the rooms were pretty big but they were nicely done and let's see how it goes from here uh, i like this pattern i'll probably enjoy coloring this more and i'll feel more relaxed than worried and then there's a thank you note mm, from the illustrator and writer a plain sofa let's see if i can color that and bring some more textures to it this is information about the authors and the illustrator and even on these pages they have given some samplers we can use these for testing i think so it would be a good idea to use our various markers and pens and see what works well uh, in terms of uh, having a medium i'm sorry that got blurred for a moment and then i think so some other books that they are publishing 
and that's it i hope you liked it and i hope i enjoy coloring it because i bought it as a challenge for myself to move away from what i usually do uh, so let's see how this goes if i do manage to color anything i'll try to put out a video if i'm not terribly ashamed of the result i should say uh but let's see how this one goes i hope you liked the book i hope you like the review if you did like it it's available on amazon uh and i'm sure you can easily buy it uh i purchased it for i think something like 6 point something euros uh here in europe uh i'm not sure how much it will cost uh in other countries but it should be in a similar range and i hope you enjoy coloring it as much as i did thank you